walk that journey for yourself, not for anybody else, for you, for you. Study yourself, discover who you are. Discover who you are. There's going to be some ups and downs when you're studying yourself. You may even cry a lot. It's going to be tough. The shadow work is tough. Flames up from the ashes, fiery and bold. Wings of courage, my story unfolds. Demons in my mind trying to steal my life. Hi, everybody. I know it's been a while. Oh, man. A lot has happened. Look, I always start that way. A lot has happened. It's always like that. I don't know. I just have trouble with social media and being online too long. So... This week, I went to my uh, Asperger's meeting. It's only once a month. If only, if, if only it was every week, that would be amazing. Um, so it was my second time going to the Asperger's meeting. So autism. And being around people that going are going through similar things as me. Um, I don't know. Every time I'm in front of a camera... A camera I feel like I have to think like because you know before my old videos most of it was a script or you know I had a script where I could read what I was supposed to say or you know um, I was also masking in so many of my videos too not being myself not that I'm actually myself and because I was just tired of pretending to be somebody I was not you know but in most of those videos that I was making before I was looking at notes. Yes, which is okay. You can look at notes. I was also reading a script sometimes. Sometimes it came from me, but... Now it's just being my authentic self and seeing if I can connect with other people. There was a water leak in my house and um, now we may be forced to go to an Airbnb for a couple of weeks because they have to destroy the walls. The, on the first floor and they have to remove all the carpet upstairs um, that leak happened from my bath bathroom it leaked downstairs and it's funny the way that it happened I was having a good day it was good and I was having a good day yeah I was and it just happened uh, normally I'm super focused on what I do but this time yeah water leak in my house and yeah that happened I'm just trying to understand my life and uh, doing the shadow work, more of the shadow work without being a perfectionist, without being someone I'm not pretending to be this, pretending that I'm that everything is perfect because most of the time when I used to make my videos before I would try to look perfect and be perfect and you know when you were when you're a perfectionist that's because you have low confidence and you know childhood trauma based on my well for me I was I was trying to be the perfect kid when I was young and please others doormat. You know what I mean. And now I'm just coming in here and being me. And in this 3D world, well, being me will be considered a weird person. I'm weird. Well, to help with it, yeah. What she sees what she get. This is who I am. You know? I am who I am. And yeah. <sighs> so yeah. I've been going to the gym a lot lately. Well, a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be consistent. Because the story of my life is always like this. I'm consistent and then I'm not consistent. I'm consistent and I'm not consistent. I'm, it's, it keeps flip-flopping. For a lot of things, lots, lots of decisions. I'm not working right now. That's okay because I quit my job last year. Because I couldn't handle it anymore. It's a job I didn't like. I didn't resonate with it. You know, office work that I used to do for like 18 years. On the phone, talking to clients. 
got fed up with it. Worked with two big companies in Canada, insurance companies, and lasted a long time. And then finally waking up after my juice fasting, what the hell am I doing there? What am I, the hell am I still doing there? For masking, pretending to be somebody and, you know, just to make money, but I'm miserable. And after I'm done with my job, I'm tired. I'm exhausted, brain dead. So why am I still at that job? Anyways, a year ago, well, a year and a half ago in September, I think it was September 7 or September 16, I don't know, I quit. I quit that job. And uh, been trying to make a living out of myself, you know? Been writing my book, which is not even ready to be finished. And I created an ebook, recipe ebook. Um, just to, because I was, just because I was, um, fascinated by my, fa fascinated by following this raw vegan lifestyle, which was amazing because being on a raw vegan lifestyle, I was feeling great physically, definitely. Emotionally, well, I was going through an emotional detox, but I'm sure if I would have stayed a year on it, oh man, it would have been awesome. But with temptation all around me, of course, and still healing my relationship with food, I reverted back again to eating all kinds of things. Um, but this time I'm not, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad at all. It's just that I'm understanding that, yeah, before, the reason why it's happening again is because before I was a perfectionist and I was constantly trying to show this image of myself to be accepted by others and that I, or, or because I didn't want to be in conflict with others or be being rejected. But now I know it's actually a individual journey. I'm walking this path that I want for myself and I need to do it my way without getting the pressure from others saying, Oh my God, I can't believe you did this. <gasps> really? Oh my God. Well, you should do this. Maybe you should do this a certain way. Shh. No. Quiet. I know now that it's an individual journey. And this is actually a spiritual journey right now because I am being the most gentle with myself right now. I'm being the most gentle with myself. Even though I gained all the weight that I lost from last year after that 100 day juice fast, going raw vegan and actually opening the door to cook food in January 2024, the weight kept going up, 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 <laughs> you know? And I guess by doing, by, by going through all of this made me understand that yes, the reason why it's happening again is because I had some unfinished business. And it's okay, because this time I don't want to be perfect. I want to walk that journey step by step the way I want it. Because before I thought in my mind that I had to do it quickly and be perfect immediately, be the perfect raw vegan. Because I wanted to be accepted by others. There's certain things that I didn't post on my page because, oh no, I'm not fully raw anymore. Maybe I shouldn't be posting. Lost a lot of followers on my Instagram by not being there. That's fine. It's okay, you know? And been having trouble being on constant, cons, cons, consistent on social media. But it's okay to walk away, right? Take a break and come back when uh, you want to share a message. I have a message, I want to share it, and I'm going to keep sharing my message the way I want it. Even if it's by doing this video, you know. My message is that, is basically to share that no matter what you're going through, we all have our own individual journey. And if you know what you want to do in life, if you know what your purpose is, and if you're still looking for your looking out if, if you're still looking for yourself on what you can give back to society or help others well walk that journey but walk it walk it in a way that you give yourself a lot of love even if there's ups and downs even if it's hard sometimes and you feel like crap or you feel misunderstood or 
even if you feel like you shouldn't be showing your true self, show it. Even if you think people will say you're weird or whatever, show, show who you are because it's not about showing who you are now. It's, it's not about creating this person that is not you. You know, being like, okay, today I'm going to talk about this and, you know, and it's not you. It's not really who you are. You're acting, basically. I'm just done with the acting. So, um, if you have a message to share, share it the way that you feel the most comfortable with. If it's by art or creating something, whatever. It's not about being perfect. It's not about comparing myself like I used to. I used to compare myself to so many other influencers. I wish I was like her. I wish I was like him. I wish I was like, what, like my mentor. Oh, look at the way he's talking. Look at the way she's talking. I should be like her. No. Enough. Be you. Stop comparing yourself to others. And that's how. I, that's what I had to learn for myself. Stop comparing yourself to others. Be you. But we were so brainwashed as kids. And, you know, you go to school and they tell you to act a certain way. If you don't act like regular people, whatever regular is, but if you don't act like certain people, like, or walk the same way, you're considered weird. Which is why some of us feel like aliens and we feel like we don't belong in this world. We get suicidal tendencies. We feel like we don't belong because we were told, oh my God, you shouldn't be acting this way. You're so weird. Why can't you just be normal like everybody else? Be normal. Whatever normal is. Seriously, whatever the f normal is. Well, you know what? Normal for me? Normal for me is basically not being yourself. Because normal means that you have to act like everybody else. You have to walk the same way, you have to talk the same way. You have to do your hair like them. You have to dress like them. You Sorry, have to normal doesn't exist in my reality anymore. Because when I was trying to act normal, I was pretty much masking and pretending to be somebody I'm not. Just because I wanted to be liked or loved. I was a people pleaser and I was a doormat. I gave my power away to so many people. They could step all over me and do whatever they wanted with me. And I was like a puppet. And I'm like, okay, you should do this, okay? Can you do this for me, please? Okay, sure, yes, yes. Saying yes instead of saying no, you know? Or saying yes when it's actually no and say, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'll do this for you. Okay, I'll be that way. Okay, sure, I'll try to compose myself so I'm not weird anymore for you, you know? Okay, yeah, everything is my fault. Everything is my fault, yeah. The hell with this i'm done but if you feel that way anybody can reason resonate with what i'm saying step it up step it up step it up but for yourself walk that journey for yourself not for anybody else for you for you study yourself discover who you are discover who you are there's going to be some ups and downs when you're starting yourself. You may even cry a lot. It's going to be tough. The shadow work is tough. But it's supposed to be that way. Because if everything was easy, you wouldn't be here anymore. If it was a flat line, you're dead. So life is supposed to be like ups and downs, ups and downs. Like a roller coaster. And um, yeah, you're going to keep falling, getting up, falling, getting up. And their healing journey never ends. It's gonna stop when you're not here anymore. Not in your body. So that's fine. So at the end of the day, find out what your passion is. Find out who you are. Discover what you like and what you don't like. Discover what makes you feel good and what doesn't make you feel good. Discover what gives you joy. Like, you know... Do things for you. Take care of yourself. Hey, if you don't know what you do with yourself sometimes, that what I started doing is going for a walk or going to the gym. I went three times this week. Three times. 
I'm proud of myself because sometimes I would just go once and then wait for another two weeks to go. I went three times. I was trying to be consistent. I wanted to go five days in a row. It did not happen. It's fine. Normally back then I would have like been hard on myself. Be oh my god, I'm so bad. Why? So lazy. Oh my god. No, this time I'm like okay. I went three times. Okay. And those other days that I didn't go, I went for a walk outside instead. Instead of going to the gym. That's fine. And, uh, okay. Celebrate your wins. Celebrate the things, the little things that you do for yourself that you're like, Hey, I did this for me today. Oh my god, it feels great. You know, I soaked my feet. You know, I did that last week. Last week. <laughs> um, you know, I did my own hair. Or I did my nails. Cleaned my room. Okay, well, here I have a mess. I have a water leak that happened, so I have to pack everything. Because we're probably going to end up in an Airbnb soon for a couple of weeks. Uh, once the insurance company decides what to do and um, if the constructions are going to happen in my house. But at least I did something for me. And yeah, I've been crying even more lately because I've been surrendering to God even more. I don't have a religion. I'm more like spiritual, but I feel like I owe my life to God. Everything that happened to my life, I owe my life to God. The Almighty, the universe, you want to call it that way. But for me, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it God. And uh, I feel like I owe my life to God. And if I'm still here right now, it's because... It's because of God. I'm still here. And because I want to be here too. And I want to try again. Even though sometimes there's days I'm like, I want to give up. I'm done. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore being on social media. I can't take it anymore. Um, just feeling in luck or not feeling abundant or take, can't take it anymore because of what's going on in my mind oh my god I'm done but then I pick myself back up I'm like no you won't remember the next life you don't even you don't, you don't even remember your past life so it's now and ever just live your life enjoy it have fun serve others too help others be there for others be there for you Enjoy. Connect with your inner child. You know, do the things that you used to love to do when you were a kid. And enjoy the present moment. Instead of focusing on the future. Because that's what I used to, that's what I tend to do sometimes. I think about the future. And I live in the future. And then of course more anxiety, more stress. Is that the solution? No, it's not. It's not the solution. But find out what makes you feel good. Don't be too hard on yourself. If you fall, pick yourself back up. If it's hard, if it's really hard, reach out to somebody. Reach out to a friend. Somebody that really cares for you. Surround yourself with people that actually love you for who you are. You know? Stick to that one friend or family member that really loves you. Because sometimes, yeah, it's hard to open up to family members. Or sometimes you have friends and you think they understand you, but they don't actually understand you. So you may have to clean it, clean up your friend list, you know. And uh, and if you come out to being your true authentic self after being a doormat for so long, and those people don't un don't accept you or say, "Hey, what happened to you? You changed, you know. You're acting different." And what about us? You don't think about us anymore. Get out. Maybe they're just so used to that broken version of yourself that version of you that was sad and depressed they're used to that person and they probably want you to stay that way but the minute you like okay now i'm gonna be my true authentic self connect with my higher self and be my higher self being in you know in my strength and if they can't accept that then no You don't want to pretend to be somebody you're not just to be, to be liked by them. So sometimes we have to do a cleanup in our friends, uh, friends list in, in, in our lives. Even our own families. So there's family members that make you feel like crap or make you feel like this little. Gives you anxiety or make you doubt yourself or 
you know, make you feel bad for acting a certain way or being a certain way. Get away from them. I know it's looks like it's easy, but it's I know it's not easy. But start the process of removing 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 yourself from those situations and those people. You know this mantra that I keep saying? And I've probably said it in my old videos. I am removing myself from anyone or anything that doesn't serve my highest good. Yeah. I'm, remo I'm removing myself from anyone or anything that doesn't serve my highest good. Or you can say, thank you, God or universe, for removing anyone or anything that doesn't serve my highest good. And you can start doing those I am affirmation, you know. I'm going to be sharing some of those. Those I am affirmation. Absolutely. Because we all need to hear those I am affirmation. I sleep with I am affirmation. So that my subconscious can hear it. It helps. But of course, like I, like I was saying, there's days where it's just like, I crash. Ooh, hit rock bottom. And then, I remember that when you hit rock bottom, it's for a reason is to make you come back full force is to make you understand that oh there's something that i need to work on myself there's something i need to do that's what rock bottom is basically so being depressed and having those rock bottom things happening to you or you know hitting rock bottom is it's there for a reason it's supposed to happen we all know that this planet is a testing planet it's for the soul evolution so going through those hard moments are actually a good thing. I know it sucks. It hurts. But it's for a reason that's happening. To make you stronger. To make you elevate yourself even more. You know? Elevate. But what I would say to people is try things. Study yourself. You know, I have like this notebook. This notebook is, I write things about me. So you kind of become your own counselor, your own therapist in a way. You study yourself. You're like, okay, this today happened. Today, this happened and I didn't feel good. Okay, why? Okay, what, what can we do differently? Oh, today it was a good day. Why was it good though? What, what, made, it to be, what made it to be a good day? What did I do differently that it made me feel like, oh my God, the dopamine is woohoo. What did I do? Maybe I should keep doing this so that it keeps happening. But when those hard moments happen, okay, let it happen. Even if you start crying like a baby, let it happen. And if you have people that truly love you around, they'll give you a hug. Well, give yourself a hug. But no matter what, pick yourself back up and uh, accept what happens, you know. But tell yourself this, when things happen, it happens for a reason. And when stuff happens, I say, what are you trying to teach me? And that's what I say to God. What are you trying to teach me? Yep. Because everything happens for a reason. Just like that water leak that happened. What are you trying to teach me? Why did this happen? Why is it that the first time, for the first time, after living here for six years, this happens? Why did I let my guard down when I'm normally so focused, you know? Somebody that's super focused normally. And in one of our meetings, Asperger meeting, they asked us last time, what is your superpowers with autism? I had trouble, I had trouble answering that question. Cause I was like, oh my God, maybe it's a curse, you know? But they were asking us, well, what are our superpowers? And then I could listen to other people saying what was their superpowers be being autistic. And then I'm like, I remember something. I'm like, oh yeah, I guess somebody with me with autism, well, I'm normally capable of seeing if a person is genuine or not. I can scan somebody and analyze them and see if they're good or not. I guess that's one of my superpowers. And I'm also normally so focused on what I do. Well, I mean, I stay alert 
that's what I'm, that's what I mean. I stay alert and make sure that everything's in place. You know, check if everything is turned off, because that's who I am, right? So, yeah. When I finally realized this during the meeting, I said, okay, maybe that's one of my superpowers. Anyways, but at first it was hard to answer that question. But find out what is your superpowers? What is your gift? What is your special gift? What is that? Find out what it is, because we all have special gifts. We all do. We all do. So we just have to keep tapping into ourselves and discover it. So on that note, I'm going to stop this video because we're not 27 minutes. But it's been a pleasure because I don't make those videos that often and I don't and I haven't been on YouTube for a while and I haven't been consistent at it either. I haven't been consistent with social media, but I've been consistent at being there for my loved ones and people that actually need me, friends that I new friends that I made too as well. And um, people that actually care for me, just being in the moment with them, spending time with them going to a cafe and watching my friend paint or hang out with a friend that needs it, walking with her dog, you know, just being with people that are actually genuine and that love me for me, you know, people that are actually their true authentic selves, you know, and we're helping one another. That's been the type of people that I've been around and loving being around and also being with my family, talking to them and showing my true authentic self with them, you know, showing my true face, you know. So, and walking this journey again, step by step, I'm not giving up on the raw vegan lifestyle. I'm still studying it. And I know it's going to take years before I'm like, oh no, it's only going to take a couple of months. I'll be the best. I'll be perfect. Huh? No. Work in progress. Work in progress. But in January, I plan on doing a mini juice fast, maybe seven days. Not 100 days anymore, not 52 days anymore. Seven days. <laughs> and then getting back maybe at eating fruits, even though I, I live in a cool country where most of the time the fruits are not in season, that's fine. I'll do my best because I feel like my body needs it again. So yeah, I'm accepting those ups and downs because they're teaching me something. They are. They are teaching me something and it's okay we'll just keep trying instead of giving up and say okay that's it i quit whatever no i'm gonna keep trying and going at my own pace and doing my best and yeah so whatever you're doing in your life keep doing your best for yourself and keep trying whatever goals you want to accomplish for yourself keep keep up keep up at it keep up and um don't compare yourself to any other people. It's your own individual journey. Your individual journey is different from other people. Well, everybody is different. So everybody has their own individual journeys. Once you know this, you know, and the people that resonate with you will stick around with you. And if people don't no longer resonate with you, or they can't stand you, let them go. They were not meant to be with you anymore. But they were probably there at a moment of your life that was necessary. And thank them for this. Be grateful. I'm grateful for all the people that have been in my life. Even the people that left or are here or are no longer here. I'm grateful for them. They shipped up, they shaped up my personality. So, yeah, you know, that human life. So, that's what I want to share. 30 minutes. Oh my god. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Don't know when, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>